Master Roland. You. You're, You're one, one of, of Batu's oh. men. Just go ahead and say it then. Use random voice acting. Maybe you look stupid. Go ahead. Aye, Roland. that I am. Kumbish is the name. This gentleman was apprehended after being observed behaving suspiciously in our airspace. It is our belief that he is a spy. Do your weapon, Jay, for another 50 bit cheer. Curse you, you devils! Didn't I say already? I was looking for Master Roland! For me? Why? <laughs> Forgive me, Your Honor. Seems I made a blunder. <laughs> you sure did. And why am I not surprised? Now, Mr. Crane, to our test. Let us see where your allegiance truly lies. Dispatching one of your former allies should provide us with adequate proof that you are ready to serve a new master. No, no. Listen here, you rat face swab, you. Uh, is something the matter? Surely you are capable of such a straightforward show of commitment? Or could it be that we have an imposter in our midst? Don't get ahead of yourself. Let's just say I prefer to use my own methods. Master Roland! No! We're shipmates! Y you can't just... It's cold. Kick him to the balls, kick him to the balls, kick him to the balls. Yes, repeated ball kicks. <clears throat> Do it! Shoot him! It's nothing personal. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Shoot him now. Ah! Curse you for the traitor you are! Ah! He did it! He killed him. Nice. Well, happy now? Hmm. Killed him. Happy enough. Good job, Roland. Murdered him. Very nice. Hmm. It's been days now, Mon. When's old Rolly boy coming home, eh? Yeah. None of us never came back after we sent him out to look for him either. Where did Roland disappear to? We have to go and look for him. He might need our. <laughs> he needs nothing from us, girly, and he'll get nothing. The man's a turncoat and a traitor, damn him. But, but... He isn't. No, he can't be. I refuse to believe it. It must be some sort of strategy of his. St I said strategy, didn't I? Did I literally say strategy? Wow. Strage strategy. Not strategy, strategy. Alright, muscled it, Leander. Thank you, Weapon J, for another 50-bit cheer. Thank you. I would advise you to forget about him, Your Majesty. He is no longer your concern. Forgive me. Forgive me, sire, but you have more pressing worries. Give the traitor no more thought. What? You too? What? Wow, talk about cold. Wasn't Roland one of our best friends five minutes ago? Oh. <laughs> mm-hmm. And that's my plan. I figure it should keep those Grimalkin troublemakers out of your hair for a while, at least. Oh. To have formulated such a thorough strategy in so short of a time, really quite something, I must say. Mm. Impressive indeed. It seems I was entirely justified in welcoming you into the fold. Now there's another favor I've been meaning to ask of you. The Mark of Kings. You've heard of it? Sure. Sure, it's handed down from generation to generation of royals here in Ding Dong Dell as proof of the right to rule. And without it, it's impossible to access certain places. It works as a kind of key, too, correct? <clears throat> Precisely. It's a pendant of brightest blazing red, a beautiful object indeed. And a necessity if one wishes to enter our nation's king's cradle. Uh -huh. Let me guess. You don't have it, and you don't want it? No, you don't have it, and you want it? Hmm. <laughs> you are admirably concise as ever. We have searched the castle high and low, and yet it is nowhere to be found, which leads me to believe that it is not, in fact, here. <sighs> it sure isn't. It's around Evan's neck. Every minute of every day, it won't be easy to get a hold of it. But that doesn't mean it'll be impossible. I'll just need a few things and a little time. And you have, and you shall have all you need. There's no other. There is no. 
There is no other to whom such a task can be entrusted after all. Blech. Tongue tied tongue tied there. What about you, Your Excellency? Any errands you want the new guy to run? <laughs> well, I... Well, that's very kind of you. Let me see now. Ah, I should be very much obligated if you would inform Captain Buck that the War Council will unfortunately have to be postponed a little. Sure. Sure, I'll get right on it. All right. <clears throat> All right. We're heading over to Captain Buck. Is it Captain Buck like Uncle Buck? Anyone remember that movie from the 1990s, Uncle Buck? Starring John Candy. It's great. I loved it. Did I go the wrong way? Wait a minute. Technically, no, but I could have... I could have turned earlier. Shout out to... Oh, my goodness. Shout out to Orewa Ochinchin Gadai, which I don't know what it means. It's probably some really perverse thing, and now I'm going to get in trouble for saying it. They tip me $2 to say, Can I ask whatever happened to Pabalu? He will he never come back from the rice fields. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, I don't know. First of all, I don't even know who Pabalu was. He was just a guy who started showing up to streams and saying weird things like calling me daddy and stuff. And he vanished one day. No idea what happened to him. I would just wish him well. And shout out to Weapon J for another 50 bit cheer. All right. Oh. No, whoa. What the heck? Whoa. All right, well, well, if it isn't the famous Roland, only in town a few days and already the flavor of the month or so, I hear. What business could one so lofty have with such a lowly soldier as myself, hmm? That's about the size of it. Hmm. I see, I see. So the Council of War has been postponed. I shan't forget. Oh, no. Oh, there was one other thing. There's been a change to the postings for some of the guards. All men assigned to the night shift on the east and west blocks are to patrol the outside of the castle instead. Oh. oh, a very mysterious change to the routine. But ours is not to reason why. It shall be done, Mr. Roland. Sir, it shall be done. Mm -hmm. Good. I'll leave you to pass word to the shift sergeants. Yes. But of course, your magnificence. Leave it in my capable hands. Alrighty then. <laughs> sneak. Time to sneak. Sneaking. My best style of gameplay, as you guys know. I even have a t-shirt that says I'm the master of stealth, if you guys aren't aware. Good. The coast is clear. Oh, yeah. Weapon J just did a 100-bit cheer. He says, love the narration. You, my friend, should be a voice actor. Hmm. All right. He says it went smoothly. A little too smoothly. <laughs> so, are we going back? Yeah, we're going back to, the, to when he first showed up, remember? When he first teleported hmm. into this world. That's where we're going right now. All right. Huh? Oh my god, excuse me. Okay. Locked figures, I guess. Well, nothing the little guy can't fix. The fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Uh, it's a mule and kill it. Squish it. Flat it. Uh, stomp it. Oh. Whatever it is, it turns into a key. Amazing. <laughs> so, Della says, what do you think Trump would do if he appeared in Nino Kuni? He played golf, of course. Anyway, the lockety clicker scuttles off looking pleased with itself. <laughs> it actually worked. Now I've seen everything. Thanks, little guy. All right, here it goes. The Mark of King should be in here somewhere. So really the reason he did this, he went undercover to get the, the Mark of Kings out of Ding Dong Dell. Yeah! 
The ship's nearly ready. Time to weigh anchor and set sail on the high seas. Yahar. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's time to go and get the Hydropolitans to sign up to the Declaration, but we have to think beyond that, too. Most of all, we need to think about what to do about Ding Dong Dell. They won't be making peace with us anytime soon. They won't be getting close enough to even shout about peace. The whole area is crawling with soldiers. There's a way we might be able to get past them. It's a path only open to members of the royal family called the King's Way. Huh? Uh, what's that when it's at home, and why you've never mentioned it before? What? Mm. Well, because we wouldn't be able to access it without the Mark of Kings. Huh. And what exactly is that? A pendant passed down among the rulers of Ding Dong Dell. It serves as proof of the right to rule and a key to certain secret places. It's that important. You, you can bet Mouse Nigger will be looking for it, too. It was given to me when my father passed away, but will I? You went and left it behind when you skedaddled, eh? Where exactly did you squirrel the thing away, laddie? Well, there are hidden rooms in the castle, you see. I thought it would be safest there and one of the connected to my chamber. Ah, they were designed so that the royal family could hide in times of emergency and with the help of the mark, even escape if needed be. Puh. How exactly did you come to leave something so useful behind, you feckless, feckless young oaf ye? <clears throat> I'm guessing it's because a certain somebody appeared out of thin air and then all hell broke loose. Thank you, Weapon J, for yet another 100-bit cheer. I appreciate that, man. All right. 